Holograms might seem like sci-fi, but they're actually a scientific marvel. They've helped engineers make aeroplanes safer. In construction, holograms can reveal tiny flaws in materials long before they become a problem. And the shiny little sticker on your bank card? That's a hologram made to protect your money. But how do you make a 3D hologram? You start by shining a laser, which will be split into two beams. One beam, the reference beam, is directed towards a photographic plate, while the other, the object beam, first shines on the object before reaching the plate. When these two beams meet, their light waves combine and create an interference pattern that captures detailed information about the object. If you shine the same kind of laser on this pattern again, it recreates the original wavefront of light reflected by the object, making a 3D hologram appear as if the object was right in front of you. Hungarian-British physicist Denis Gabor was trying to improve the electron microscope when he first described holography in the 1940s. He was later awarded a Nobel Prize in Physics. In 1962, Emmett Leith and Eurus Yupatniks built on Gabor's work and created the first hologram that people could see and recognise as such, made possible by the invention of the laser. Since then, holography has expanded. Today, it's even helping engineers make better augmented reality headsets, opening up all kinds of new possibilities.